Hello everyone, I'm Dylan. Welcome back to No More Future. This is Sephiroth. That's me! <laughs> I'm not imagining these little light flying orbs, am I? Little light orbs. Yeah, you can see them, right? In honor of our friendship, I'm kind of say yes, but lying to your friend isn't very nice. Right. You're kind of annoying. Well, can you run a quick check to figure out what it could be causing this? Analyzing analysis complete. Results are inconclusive. Hardware operating at 100% efficiency. No viruses have been detected in your system. Oh, you can have viruses in your stuff? Ooh. This is most likely a anomaly is a glitch of some sort in your visual processing software. Ooh. At least you can say that without us giving you much sass. Uh, can you fix it? What are you talking about? Is that table by my subroutines? Which is to say, it might not as well exist. Are you sure you're not, you know, lying? Do I look like I'm making this up? I am inside of your head. I cannot see your body. In honor of our friendship. Shut up! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Arthur, please stop talking. Killer Wu has played your part in giving the place a wonderful, eye catching atmosphere. Never saw anything like it, like when you were a human. Not by a long short. It's a small addition, but it already feels like a whole new way of doing reality. What's the thing to compare them to our firefighters guessing in the night above the flowery meadow? Knives and guns! Good thing that you never saw for yourself, mind you. When all those ebooks and movies you watched were correct, this is probably what they had to look look. You won't be able to tell either way. Fireflies haven't been inspired in American culture in several decades at least. Say even speculate their existence? Let's see by now. Probably not the right moment to start thinking about depressing stuff like that. All things considered. Back to your priorities. Hmm. It's almost 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> not too late, I think. Still have plenty of time for your appointment at the house. At least, like, six more hours. I figure you can hang out around the place for a while. Maybe explore around for a bit since you didn't have a chance to do so in the last time. As you're walking around the place, too focused on assessing to really care about anything else going on around you, you spot a vending machine hanging by the stairs. Hey, vending machine! You single? It's glass glistens from within, highlighting the many snacks and drinks for sale. Swacky colors and cool designs that decorated don't fail to lure you in. Shiny and delicious! I'm not hungry or thirsty. Your body, your my body does not need food or drink to sustain itself. However, you still what craving food and water feels like. That hole always appears in the back of your throat. Clawing at you from inside, aching to be filled. Okay, seriously? <laughs> You're not sure about it, and then you walk toward the back of the store queue platform behind the machine and peacefully await your turn as you ponder on this strange feeling. I can still eat or drink whatever I want without fear of something shutting down your system. Standard food and beverages still produce calories that can absorb by your body, but it's a minuscule amount of energy for your own use. Creepy. The rest, the waste, can simply dumped into the steam and fuel that courses through your veins, which does most of the heavy lifting and you're keeping you up and running. Still, you're technically wasting your time and Pandora's money by producing something here. Not to mention, you're also wasting food that would be far more useful when you're just to other people. So why are you here? Why are you just doing this? Sephiroth, it is your turn! The guy's monotone voice intrudes once again into your thoughts, almost making you jump from this chair. You think up a reply hastily, almost automatically. What do you mean? There's at least... There's not. There's not anymore, anyways. All the people that were previously in the queue before you, now standing at the least five feet away from you. Or more keep on <laughs> coming by the dozen. Hello! I'm Roboto! You're basically surrounded by people, all put, pointing their phones straight at you, lights, their cameras turned off. Take a look at them as they stand in their middle of their platform, motionless as they are utterly petrified by your mere presence. So, A plethora of different reactions spread across from different ages, species, and genders. Shock, confusion, awe, fear, lust. <laughs> Definitely not a sight that inspires much confidence in you. What you looking at? The situation is definitely strange, and very unsettling. You try to reason with the crowd, but you can't. Error, error, I must kill! And they all start just screaming and running away. Bye! Uh, what's, why are you guys doing that? 
Collective gasp follows your inquiry as the onlookers take a few steps back and you begin to whisper amongst each other. Yeah, they're right off like that. I can just wait by turn. It's not really a big deal. Yeah, more of the same, it seems. Nobody so very interested in talking to you, as much as they are talking about you. Ah. Uncomfortable thanks to all the stares and hushed mutterings. It's not an awesome environment per se, but it's very strange. I'm waiting to question whether your quest for refreshments is truly worth all the hassle. Ah! After giving us some thought, you have eventually decided that the stairs of the passenger buyers won't unsettle you once the lack of the in your life right now. I need that cream soda! You know you can't blame them for that breaking this way. You understand that they were coming from. In another world, perhaps you are even amongst your ranks yourselves. I used to go to Dollar Tree all the time when I was little. And we used to get those like 2.5 liters of grape soda. Man, that was good stuff. I don't think I have any more. I think it's like $1.25 and it's 2 liters. I don't know. But it was awesome. It could feed me that for like a week. Can't let their worries and fears get in the way of you enjoying your life. Now that it's finally back in your hands. I am Roboxio. Confidently, you approach the vending machine amidst the gas and murmurs of the non looking device. There's so many pretty looking things to choose from. from several crackers, chocolate filled desserts, spice and mini pizzas, fish juices, and fizzy drinks. The very world, at least at this dispenser, is my oyster. Or it would be if the price wasn't so incredibly high. Six dollars for domino cakes? That's insane. Friendly reminder that you have a weekly $500 budget entirely paid for by Pandora and that you are currently $500 away from depleting it. Huh. Oh, yes, yeah, so let me make terrible decision choices because of my Android and make a conversion push for everything. Good. Get away! Yes, is indeed a great idea. Right. I guess I could get away with it. I could buy the $6 thing that I don't really need. Me every day of my life. However, at the same time, someone else's money you're throwing around, like candy, and this arrangement probably won't last forever. You should be consciously of establishing any nasty habits right away. Bite you in the back later. So there's an argument to be made that, specifically because this won't last forever, you should be taking advantage of this opportunity while well, you can. I don't know. Whenever someone's like, hey Dylan, are you hungry? You want like, a snack? I'm like, no, I don't need it. But, like, secretly, I do want them to get me, like, a snack. I just feel bad about people spending money on me. But if they're like, man, I'm hungry. I'll like, yeah, you want a snack? I have one in my bag. Like, whatever. Because I'm that person, I guess. Whatever, I'm going to, uh, no one can stop me. Buys all the vending machine monies. The deadly combination of bacon-scented crackers. And a small bottle of orange-flavored energy drink. I don't really like bacon. It's just, it leaves a weird taste in my mouth. Maybe it's just the one that I buy. I don't know. You definitely wouldn't have tried anything with this fish back when you were human. But now that you're a synthetic robotic robot man, you can figure out the various things. Try it without killing over dying on the spot. At least you hope so. Some flavors shouldn't be flavors. You lock out of the vending machine. Touch game pad. It. <laughs> Where's my import? You know what to do. Ugh. I do. But will I? Please? Any chance you can say please and ask me the proper? I will slap my hands. I will slap my neck. Before you can even get to work parting around for the AI's power attachment, however, the smiley face on the touch pad twitches for a second. Not even a blink of an eye later, and the counter at the top now clearly shows you there's ten whole dollars inside the machine. You can pay for your whole meal and then some. Now there's another very really cool thing that you wish you could do yourself, instead of letting an unreliable AI take care of your everything for you. It's definitely much more convenient than carrying around a wallet full of credit cards. That's for sure. There. Now stop fooling around back there. I'm sensitive. Please, please, please don't say it like that. You're right. I meant. Sensible, silly me. Please keep that away. Thank you. What? Please just, 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 just stop. Just stop. I'm grab what I came for. Get the heck out of here. Jumping the numbers and the snacks you desire into the touchpad. Went for the machine to do its job, pushing the items off their pedestals and onto the cold metallic floor below. 
they have like super advanced technology stuff and that they still need a touchpad you can just be like one bacon crackers please the crowd gasps in shock and awe as it realizes what just happened but you try not to let it bother you as you conclude your transaction you reach into the machine and grab your stuff the packaging leaves must be desired in both accounts <laughs> I just eat the entire thing yeah is it really worth all this money? Shepting is just open them up and start snacking right here right now. But you quickly figure out that you'd rather be surrounded by a few less people while you do that. I stuff my newly stolen treats into my spacious yellow jacket and make as if to leave, still utterly unimpressed with the little theater going around you. Upon your approach, your ever fearful crowd parts in two ways like a Red Sea, giving you an ample space to move around as everyone gawks, whispers, and takes photos around you. Do you want me to sign it? As you leave the people behind, you can't help but think about how unbelievable the whole scene really was. I was just trying to buy a sandwich. Is it that hard? I mean, I guess I'm popular now that I'm a robot, but whatever. These people seem to be treating you more like an art piece than a person. Is this really how it's going to be from now on? Are you supposed to get used to this? I mean, I don't really care what other people think. I mean, I guess my character does, but whatever. Things about you and the public at large still need some time to get properly accustomed to each other. Remember when their cell phones were first invented? People were all like, what is that thing? And now it's just like, oh yeah, I got my cell phone out. We're hanging out. Or when they first invented Glibble, and you're like, man, I wish I had some Glibble. And they're like, here's some Glibble right now. I'm like, oh, you can't live without that Glibble. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you eventually. Glibble! <laughs>